Assalamualaikum and hi to everyone. Thank you for watching this video. So in this tutorial, I will teach you on how to add marker in your Flutter application. So basically, the process is similar like the Google Map that we have learned in the previous video. Okay, but in this case, we want to add the Google Map in your application, and then we put marker on certain certain area. So let's start with the tutorial first. So this one is simple like the previous one. In order to create the marker on the Google Map, so we need to use package of Google Map. Okay, you need to get the API key from your cloud.google.com. Yeah, I did uh, and then you need to enable your map SDK, your Google Maps SDK for Android through this website okay after you ab you done or you already generate your api key then you can proceed to start your uh, new flutter application through your android studio okay so this is the similar process that I already show you in the previous video okay. open on your google cloud and then you need to select your project or you can create your new project okay if you want to create a new project so you can click on this button new project button and then after that you need to put a name of your project okay put name and then click on create so now you already have a new project and after that you can load your project so you need to select your project that you choose in your Google Cloud. So after that, okay, after that, okay, you need to generate the API. So go for the menu here, click on the Google Map platform, and then click on the API. Okay, and then you need to enable this map SDK for Android. If you already enable it, so you just copy your API key. But I just show the step by step on how to get the API key. Okay, you need to click on enable button here. And then you need to uh, see here when you click on the API menu. So these are the list of API that you already enable in your Google Cloud. And these are uh, the, the others API that you didn't enable it yet. So the next part you need to create the credential here okay create the credential here at the credential uh, menu you go to create the credential if you already have the api key so you already have the api key here you can just copy your api key but if you doesn't have any api key so you need to create the credential first okay create the credential and then go for the api key then you now already have your api key so do not share your api key with the others okay after that after you done with the api key you can start create your flutter application through the android studio then later you need to copy and paste your api key under the android magniface.xml file in your android project okay so now you need to create a new project. Name your project is based and up to you. Doesn't matter. Okay. The things that you need to uh, ensure here. Okay. Uh, this tutorial is based on the environment SDK 2.17 until 3.00. So this is the environment that we use. And then you need to add the Google Map package here. So the version here is 2.1.8 okay after that you can save file and then click on the pub get in order to get the latest packages after you add this package in your dependency then you only can import the uh, google map library okay and then another part you need to make sure that your file 
minimum SDK version is 20. Change into the 20. You save it. And then uh, now you can copy your API. And you can copy paste your API first. If you uh, want to copy paste your API first, then you can do the pop spec and then the build.gradle. Okay. So you need to copy paste your API key at here. Replace it and then save. Okay. Next, in your main dot dot file you can replace those code with this code okay. after you uh, do the pub gate at the dep dependency now you're able to import this package so we use the same package as the previous google map package so we want just to create a marker uh, the previous one we just want to display it and go to certain location but in this tutorial how we want to get a marker on our google map so basically it's a similar like the previous one we need to have the mean uh, function here and then we use the stateless widget okay at the stateless widget, widget we call the home class okay you can see the home class and then at the home class you uh set the marker and google map control this one google map control and then set the marker then set marker for the google map and this one is referred to the latitude and longitude that you want to put mark so for this example i use my office latitude and longitude the same as the previous uh, video okay just choose your own latitude and longitude and then put in your coding okay and then here you can add uh your text in your marker okay this one is marked so it will show the location so you can put my office so when you click on the mark later on it will pop up the message on the uh, location okay example here i put my office fskm your itm okay you can put a uh, bit based on your uh, location and then you can add another marker here at this point you can add another marker but in this tutorial i'll just show you on how to add one marker in your google map okay and then you need to continue with this one okay this one is the uh, title at the top of your uh, android application later on okay you can put google map in front or you can put your name and then you can choose your own color or the uh, background and then this one to enable the zoom and zoom out and zoom in okay for the target location i put zoom 20 you can play around with 10 15 and so on so initial zoom level means when it's appear at your uh, application okay so uh marker for this example i just use the default marker Okay, this one default marker. So let's look how it will appear in your Android phone. Okay, so this is uh, when you run your application, you able to see this kind of interface. So your Google Maps. Okay, and then you can zoom in, zoom out. Okay, you can zoom in and zoom out to see the uh, map. Okay, and then you also can click on the marker okay when you click on the marker it will show the text that you already code in your programming part my office fskm uitm for example okay so that's all for this tutorial hopefully everyone able to learn something thank you and assalamualaikum